Hey guys, so I was feeling my face, so I figured I'd make a video about um, what, like, what's the difference between China and um, U.S. when it comes to jujitsu and like martial arts in, in this case. Stay tuned, and I will tell you. Obviously, these are my opinions, and of course, everyone's experience is different. For me, I've had the opportunity to go to a lot of different gyms in Shanghai, like, um, you know, shout out to Absolute, that's like my main gym. I've experienced jujitsu as well as MMA gyms, boxing gyms, so on and so forth. But right now I'm gonna only focus on jujitsu. Some people, if you have any other similarities or differences that you wanna share, just definitely put it in the, um, in the comments or put on my uh, Instagram. The one thing that I noticed is that there are a lot more women training here. Mind you, I haven't lived back in the States for a long time. Um, it's been almost over five years that I've lived in the US. But um, when I left my, my gym, there was only five of us training at the gym, as opposed to now at my um, Absolute, we have a team of all, over 20 women. I mean, of course I'm mixing um, Muay Thai, women that do mostly Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu or both, but even in the whole gym, there's over 20 of us, which is crazy. I've never seen this before. So obviously that's really nice for building community between women and like having like really badass, strong women training together. Another difference in China is that I noticed this is more so when I first started training or started training here. I noticed that a lot of men were a little bit concerned about training with me. I was coming in um, as a, when I was, I tried out the first gym, um, I came in as a blue belt. But I noticed that um, when I asked the guys, like it could be anyone, I would, it'd be um, white belts, blue belts, um, you know, asking politely to um, purple belts and up. And well, there's, I mean, besides the instructors, I, I mean, I wouldn't ask the instructors, but even asking them saying like, Hi, um, would you like to train? And at the time, I could um, basically say, you know, oh, woman kaiichi, um, yeni shama, which is like, oh, can we roll or can we train a little bit? Or can you roll ma? <laughs> That's, you know, can you roll please? And the guys would be like, oh man, I'm tired. Or, oh, I hurt my knee, I'm so sorry. But then, and I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. And I'd go to the bathroom and I'd come back and homeboy is rolling with someone. It's like, you know, the, yeah. So I, I noticed that it's like kind of a thing with face in China. So, I, I mean, again, opinion. There's this thing about losing face or Julian, which is like, if you do something that's embarrassing to you, you could lose face to your fellow people, your fellow, you know, training partners, whatever. So maybe it's a mindset that if I lose to a girl, then um, I can, you know, I'll lose face. Or in the fact, if you hurt, like if they're afraid, like, oh, I'm too strong for this girl and I hurt her, then you lose face in that way because you don't know how to control your strength. But again, if you're Chinese and you know the reasoning, then that's fine. Right now, especially with um, other men, like there's other international men that, I train with and they're more inclined to train with you so I don't know if there's a difference so in terms of um, men that aren't Chinese like they're coming from everywhere that's another thing like um, bringing me to my next point is that being in the gym in Shanghai is much more international granted where I'm from in New York it's not um, so far um, from New York City but still it's like more concentrated with Americans but in Shanghai being a major city and having so many people from everywhere I it's cool because you get to train with a lot of people from everywhere but um yeah going back to my my first point um, men international men it's um, they're more inclined to train with you but I think especially depending on where the person's from like if they're from a more conservative country or you know these kind of things that maybe they're a little bit shy to roll with you but generally people roll with you no problem in the states yeah they're like no problem my, my teammates is like my <laughs> my because especially like i was the first girl in a lot of the gyms that i joined um all the guys have become my you know my bros so we train all the time no problem and it's like great just you know asking politely still regard you know respecting their belt and stuff in terms of competition um, yes, there's opportunities to compete. Like, it's awesome. They have competitions all over China, 
Um, and you could take the fast train, you'll get like as far as Beijing in six hours from Shanghai, or even less, yeah, it's about six hours. This is six in Chinese hand symbols, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, six hours to Beijing, they have competitions in Shanghai, they have two, like two or three different organizations that organize competitions. So it's super cool, so you have these opportunities to compete. But me being like a little bit larger, so even when I, I think my first competition that I, I think my first and only competition here, granted, I know I should compete more. Hmm. Um, I was about 80 kilos, so that's, I think, almost 180 pounds or something like this. Um, so obviously I was bigger, I need to, and I don't like cutting weight. I so there was no opportunity for, to compete in a weight class because there was no one there. So um, by the time I got up to open weight, I was tired and I don't want to do open weight. If I'm going to compete, I want to compete with everyone or people in my weight class. So I, um, there's not really a lot of um, competitions or opportunities for me or someone that's as big as me. Even women that are like 65 kilos um, have less people com competing in their class and it gets smaller as a woman it gets smaller as you go up in belt and as you go up in weight class so if you're a white belt at 60 kilos yeah you'll have a lot of people to compete with but let's say you know if you go at 70 it gets less and less and less if you go up a belt class then it's even less and if you're a purple belt and up there's probably like two or three people to compete with and then then when you know why even do it I mean if you want that's just my opinion what's awesome about China is that it's still a new sport like people are inventing stuff people are acquiring knowledge so much they're like you know people are looking at flow grappling grappling and um, getting different moves and bringing it to the gym and it's growing so fast here that you know you could like if you I think again haven't been in the States but if you ask people before when I was in the States, like, oh yeah, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, they're like, is that karate? Or, oh yeah, you do karate, and you're just like, I definitely told you it was Jiu Jitsu. But here, like, if you tell people, oh, it's like, oh, um, Bashi Roshu, which is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and they're like, whoa, like, Jiu Jitsu, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So more people know about it here, so that's really cool. Right, going back to competitions, or talking about competitions in the U.S., you have a variety of different women. It's growing fast. So at like, if I could probably find someone at, you know, when I was 80 kilos, someone that's super small, like there's more variety of um, weight classes. In fact, my first competition, I was bumped up a weight class. Well, that's because there was no one there. But mind you, there was a storm, a snowstorm. So I think everyone in my weight class was just like, NASA, we're not going. So it's like, you know, it's really cool to have more opportunities and, you know, that's one of the things that I think I'd be more inclined to compete if there was more opportunities to do so. Um, also, there's more competitions like, you know, you have the whole United States. And so this is like some of the differences that I've noticed about living in China with Jiu Jitsu. Um, comment below if I forgot anything. Please check out my blog, blackgirlwhitegee.com. Um, it's for those of you that are curious about jujitsu or um, especially if you're a woman and you're like, hmm, I wasn't sure I want to try something new, check it out. There's some, um, ha um, how do you call this thing? Where's my English? There's accounts, you know, my personal accounts, like some tips, anything you'd like to know about jujitsu or um, martial arts in general. Thanks so much for watching and I'll, and I'll see you next time.